So every choice you see trying to see this class will be learning how to cut and sew this beautiful ready-made collar from scratch. We'll be drafting and sewing this in this class. This is the application on a dress as we have seen. It is sold in the market and it's very expensive. So you can actually make this yourself and save yourself a lot of stress. It's a very simple tutorial and it's beginner friendly. If this is something you would like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. Okay, so to make this, we're going to need to draft our collar and our collar stand. So I have a few tutorials now to do this already on the channel, but we're going to be going through a simple method you can draft your collar again. So I have my paper here, and that's what I'm going to be using to draft this. So the first thing you need to get is the round neck measurements where you're going to be placing this collar. So for me, I'm going to, to assume it to be around... 20 inches okay so 20 inches divided by 2 is going to give me 10 inches because this is actually going to be on fold so or we can just work with 9 inches okay so that's 18 inches by the time we open it out so here from here i'm going to assume this to be my center fold i'm going to measure the 9 inches and i'm going to connect it like this so this is the part that i need so to create the color stand or create the color stand first i'm going to get the midpoint of this nine inches and that's 4.5 so i have the 4.5 inches there and on this upper remember this is the center fold on this outer part i'm going to go up by 0.75 so after going up by 0.75 i'm going to connect that to my midpoint so you can use your straight ruler or you can use a slightly curved side of your ruler to connect like this so after connecting this is what i have so now i'm going to measure the height of my collar stand so for me i usually use around 1.25 to 1.5 inches okay without allowance so i normally work with 1.25 so i'm just going to mark that and then i'm going to mark that on the midpoint as well as the center fold and then i'm going to connect these three points as well so again using the slightly curved side of my ruler i'm connecting from here to here and then i'm going to use my straight ruler to connect to my center point so that you make sure that all of these match perfectly so this is going to be my color stand so the next thing is to work on our color so for the color it's going to be a bit shorter in width than the color stand like one inch okay so i'm going to measure the length the height that i want for my actual color so i want it to be around three and a half inches high you can do more or less depending on what you want so for the main color i'm just going to rule this as like my starting point okay so this is going to be my center back because unlike the normal color that we fix to our shirt in which the opening is going to be at the front in this case the front is going to be completely closed the opening is going to be at the back so a zipper may pass through this that was why i said you need to reduce this by the main shirt by around one inch so that you have enough space for your zipper to pass through so here for my standard color i'm coming inwards by one inch on the base of the collar and then i'm going to measure the height of my collar so the height of my collar is going to be around three and a half to four inches so if i'm working with four inches i'll mark four inches from this my starting point and then i'm going to make it into a straight line okay so now to shape this now remember i came in by one inch on the hem so for the upper part here i'm going to maintain the nine inches and then i'm going to connect like this okay as we have seen so after connecting this now this is going to be the front part this shape here that i have here is going to be the one that is going to be at the front so you can leave the center back straight like this if you want it to be shaped as well all you just need to do is to come in here by one inch as well and then you connect it so that you have this shape laying on your back as well after fixing your zipper at the at the space that you have left for the zipper so for the center back here the i'm going to shape the color a bit by half an inch so here i'm going to come here by half an inch and then i'm going to connect that to my center front and this is all i need to do so now i'm going to cut this house so i'm going to label this now as the upper part and this is going to be the lower part of my color so i'll cut this now and then cut it on our fabric 
So I've got this out. Uh, this is my color standard. This is my actual color. So this co actual color, I'm going to be cutting it on this fabric on this lace fabric that i have is a cut fabric so you make sure that you arrange it well and you get a very nice salvage because that's going to make it to have that beautiful feel that you want so after making it after making sure you have your salvage you arrange it in such a way that the salvage match with their identical for both sides because you're cutting the two sides of the color together so after arranging it making sure that you have equal thing on both sides you are going to be placing the upper part towards the salvage area okay so this part that i labeled up is the one that you're going to be placing towards your salvage area and then you can cut the lower part anyhow you want so i've placed this now on it and then i'm just going to hold this down and cut out what i have so i have my allowance added to my to my collar so if you don't have your allowance added you can add your same allowance before you cut this out so now i have cut this out now and this is what i have this is going to be my center back and then i'm just going to open it out so you can see that i have exact same thing on both sides and this is a judge fabric it doesn't frill so i'm going to use it like this but if you're working with a fabric that frills it means you need to you need to find a way to maybe search this part that's that is coming off or you just use something to turn it but make sure it is neat because you want it to be as professional as possible so this is going to be your center front and this is going to be your center back so now for my color stand i'm just going to cut it out on a plain white fabric so usually the color comes like this the one i used in the tutorial came like this without a color stand so i had to cut my color stand with my acara fabric so you can use any fabric of your church i'm just going to use a plain with plain white fabric sorry to cut my color stand and when i'm cutting it remember that i said remember that i said that in this type in this case our opening is not going to be at the center front okay the center front is going to be completely closed which means that when you are cutting your color stand this plus this part has to be unfold and this is going to be the center back so i'll go and cut the color now and then i'll bring it back to show so i've cut it on my fabric now this does not have an allowance you can see i had it half a uh, half an inch on both sides to sew so now i'm going to remove it and i cut to one for lining and one for the main bodies so now this is my main bodies so what you just need to do this upper part here is going to be the one with your with your collar while this lower part is what the, the one you're going to sew to your neckline i mean this part is going to be sewn to the neckline and this part is where we are going to join our collar so now to join this collar now i'm just going to place it like this okay you notch the midpoint so after notching the midpoint that you're going to place the collar i'm going to place the collar like this making sure that the right side of the collar matches as well so i'll place it like this and like this okay so after placing it like this i'm going to place my lining on it as well and then i'll go ahead and sew okay after sewing it i'll bring it back to show us what we have so i've gone ahead to sew it you can see i just sew like this and the collar is in between the collar stand so now you notch this part because it's a bit curved and then you turn it out so after turning it out you go ahead and iron it very very flat okay and once you iron it this lower part you're going to sew the allowance to your neckline and your collar is ready so this is what i have so now i'm going to take this to the mannequin so that we can see what it looks like but most importantly you make sure when you are cutting this that you have the exact same thing on both sides so you can see the way it is going so that it will look really beautiful and professional so placing this on the mannequin you can see how gorgeous this is looking okay so just make sure you have a lace that has beautiful selvage or any beautiful pattern like this that you can just use and then get something like this so this is very expensive in the market guys it sold for around th between three thousand to five thousand naira. can imagine the little fabric we used in making this so if you can just make this yourself you're going to save yourself a lot of stress and you can see the side and the back as well so this mannequin is really big so the neck is not enough so you just make sure that you get the the measurement that you need for your actual neckline so that's what you're going to use to draft your 
collar stand so that I can go around the neckline so this is what the full view of the collar looks like and I really love the outcome of this beautiful color so this is how you apply it this is a sample of the one i got in the market and i think the one we even made is more beautiful than the one that we got so you just wait around your neckline as we have seen the tutorial on how i was able to achieve this beautiful six pieces dress is also on the channel you can check that out as well i hope you enjoyed making this beautiful tutorial with me if you enjoyed it let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i'll See you in the next one. Bye.